Chapter 7 Dimensions, Schedules, and Partial Structure Display In this chapter, we will create associative dimension chains and element schedules. We will also present ARCHICAD's Partial Structure Display feature to display only the cores of composites. We will also publish a drawing set in DWG file format with a single click, ready to be sent to the structural consultants. Step 1. Creating Dimensions In this step, we will create associative dimension chains automatically. ARCHICAD's dimension chains are fully associative, which means that the dimension values are automatically updated when the dimensioned elements are modified. Switch to the first view in the Creating Dimensions folder of the Navigator view map. Select the Dimension tool in the toolbox. Activate the Linear Dim 2 Favorite in the Favorites palette by double-clicking its name in the list. Check the Suspend Groups button in the status bar to make sure that groups are suspended. Open the Find and Select palette using its button in the standard toolbar. Click the Criteria Set Name button. Select All Profiled Exterior Wall from the My Criteria Sets part of the appearing list. The stored criteria will be loaded into the dialog. Click the Plus button in the lower right corner of the palette to select all elements meeting the criteria. All exterior walls with concrete and brick veneer complex profiles will be selected. These are practically all the exterior walls of the building. We will dimension these walls now. Switch to the next preset view in the view map. Select the document, Document Extras, Automatic Dimensioning, Exterior Dimensioning menu item to display the automatic dimensioning dialog. Here we can define the element types we want to dimension and also configure how to dimension doors and windows. Select the Object Center radio button at the top of the dialog. Check all checkboxes to dimension all element types and to create an overall dimension line as well. In the Distance Between Dimension Lines field, enter 1-8 to set it to 1 foot 8 inches. Select the Place Dimension Lines on Four Sides option. Finally, click OK to proceed. Move your cursor over the horizontal wall near label 1.1 and wait for the Mercedes cursor to appear. Click once with the Mercedes cursor to specify the direction of the dimension lines. Click at the point of label 1.2 with the hammer-shaped cursor to specify the location of the first dimension line. Four dimension chains were created on all four sides of the building. Close the Find and Select palette. Click elsewhere on the floor plan to deselect the exterior walls. Activate the Next Preset view in the view map. Switch off the Suspend Group option using its button in the standard toolbar. Shift-click the vertical wall near label 1.1 to select it. Exterior walls in the same group will also be selected. Select the document Document Extras, Automatic Dimensioning, Exterior Dimensioning menu item to display the Automatic Dimensioning dialog. We want to create the next dimension for only one side of the selected geometry. Uncheck the Place Dimensions of Four Sides checkbox at the bottom of the dialog. Click the OK button to accept the change. Hover your cursor over the vertical wall near label 1.1 and click it with the Mercedes cursor to specify the direction of the dimension lines. Click again at the point of label 1.2 to specify the location of the dimension line closest to the dimension geometry. The dimension line is placed on the floor plan. Deselect all walls. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Shift click the vertical wall near label 1.1. All exterior walls in the same group will also be selected. Select the Exterior Dimensioning menu item to display the Automatic Dimensioning dialog. Click the OK button to accept the current settings. 
Specify the direction of the dimension line with the help of the vertical wall near label 1.1 as before. Define the location of the dimension lines with the help of label 1.2. Press Escape once to deselect the walls. Now, let us create some interior dimensions. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Select the linear DIM3 favorite from the list. Make sure that groups are suspended. Select the arrow tool in the toolbox. And make sure to choose the partial element selection method. Draw a selection rectangle starting near the point of label 1.1 and ending near the point of label 1.2. This will select some of the walls in the project. The walls we want to dimension in this step are among them. Select the document, Document Extras, Automatic Dimensioning, Interior Dimensioning menu item to display the Automatic Dimensioning dialog. Select the Object Endpoints radio button for column dimensioning. Leave the two checkboxes in the lower part of the dialog unchecked. Click OK to proceed. Before placing interior dimensions, we need to draw a polyline segment to define the walls we wish to dimension. Only those of the previously selected walls will be dimensioned which are crossed by the polyline. Click at the point of label 1.3 to draw the first node of the polyline. Move the mouse downward and double-click at the point of label 1.4 to draw a vertical polyline segment. The reason you need to double-click is because a double-click instructs ARCHICAD that this is the last node of the polyline. With the appearing hammer cursor, click at the point of label 1.5 to define the location of the automatically created dimension line. The dimension line is generated with dimensions to all structures its polyline has crossed. Zoom in on the created dimension line to get a closer look. Press the Escape key once to deselect the selected walls. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Use the arrow tool again to draw a selection rectangle starting near the point of label 1.1 and ending near the point of label 1.2. Select the Interior Dimensioning menu item to display the Automatic Dimensioning dialog. Click OK to proceed without changing anything in the dimension settings. Click at the point of label 1.3 to draw the first node of the line. Then double click at the point of label 1.4 to complete a vertical polyline segment. Finally, click at the point of label 1.5 to define the location of the dimension line. When done, remove the selection set. Continue creating interior dimensioning using preset views 7.1.7 .7 to 7.1.11. Each time, select walls to be dimensioned. Then, activate the interior dimensioning command from the main menu. Draw a polyline to specify the position of the dimension line with the help of the label arrows. Place the dimension line specified by the label arrow. Finally, deselect the dimensioned walls before proceeding to the next view.